Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today a beauty video is being so long but I'm not going to show you a beauty look today. I'm going to show you 10 French beauty hacks to look chic and elegant. This video is for you if you didn't get the memo how to always look chic and elegant and I want to dedicate this video to my grandmother who passed a few years ago, mommy, who was the most beautiful woman to me and she gave me the best tips that I'm sharing with you now on my YouTube channel. So you know what, you never know. So ladies, hi, I'm Frederic, you new, fantastic. <laughs> what do I talk about? Beauty, fashion, lifestyle with a French twist. I don't know how many times I said that in a year. So if you're new, click, 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 click. Then you say I'm not symmetric today. <laughs> Please, very important to give a big thumbs up and don't forget the notification bell and subscribing, obviously, to support my channel and my work. To all of you, thank you so much. Don't forget to tell me in comments, question of the day, mm, what is your tip to look always fantastic. If you haven't done yet, please visit my website at frederickboss.com. The reason number one, I share my looks which you can shop on my Amazon shop. Reason number two, I share some clothes and items that I don't talk a lot about it, but you can find the links. You can get access to my YouTube masterclass, very, very popular. And five, and finally, sign up to my newsletter. You will be the first to know when I will launch the famous, the big one, styling course. Oh, and I'm in Instagram, but you know what? You know that already, and if you forgot or I'm talking too fast, everything will be linked in the description box below. Okay, so I say French because obviously I'm referring to my grandmother who teach me so much about femininity, being a woman and always being put together. My first one will be to have as much as you can, obviously, because some women have problem with skin, unfortunately, is to have a healthy skin. Yes, ladies, healthy skin. We women, we're supposed to be soft, no wrinkles and no sunspot. Yeah. Welcome to the reality. So healthy skin routine, four words, clean, exfoliate, hydrate and protect. That's it, that's the end of my video, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> So if you have a skin problem, go to see a dermatologist, a proper dermatologist. Yes, it can be a bit costly, but it is your skin, this is your face, ladies. This is your investment, okay? This is so important because better you're gonna look after your skin, doesn't have to cost you a lot of money in skincare. Some really cheap skincare products are extremely good. So, um, I recommend to put argan oil because this is how I hydrate my skin but again if you're not sure because you might not having a super dry skin you might having an oily skin or a mixed skin then please go to see a skin doctor this is the most important you will pay once they give you the best advice and then you know what to apply or not on your skin so always to see a doctor you see I'm not a doctor I'm just your best friend here all right <laughs> Oh, talk about doctor. I would like to recommend Dr. Dre on YouTube. I will put a link below. She doesn't know I exist, but she's a real doctor, a dermatologist, and she has fantastic videos about skincare products and what to do or not. I watch her regularly, and you should do too, I think. So she's recommending True Skin from Vitamin C. It will be linked in my Amazon shop. I bought them in Amazon. It's fantastic. Aven sunscreen 50 plus morning evening all the time not at night obviously uh, she's also recommending argon oil and yeah just really really good products clean hair i know i talk a lot about the same thing in a different videos but you know what this is so important lately i met a new hairdresser fantastic woman by the way and she said she's only wash her hair once per week Every day she's dry shampoo. I don't know if dry shampoo is good for you every day. I try not to, but I will definitely dry shampoo my hair one twice per week because I'm trying not to wash it. But at the end of the day, if you feel like your hair and it's a bit greasy and you don't want to do dry shampoo, just wash your hair, but use proper good shampoo and conditioner for your hair as well, you know. Um, and for wiser ladies like me, I can't believe it, try to get you yeah, something that doesn't dry up your hair. <laughs> nails like impeccable feet like i'm always talking about it my three favorite colors in um, polish nail will be red 
I like a really dark red burgundy, almost look black, but it's like a nice beautiful wine color. And I like neutral. And if you're not into colors, put a nice clear polish nail, but be sure you do your cuticles and everything. Just clean everything. Your hands, if you're like me on top of that, talking with your hands all the time, it's insane, it's insane. If you have acrylic nails or gel nail, please ladies, maintain your nails. I know it's a very costly to do. Oh yes, be a woman costs money, but we already know that, right? Smell good. Again, I'm referring to my perfume videos because smelling good feels fantastic. When you find your signature perfume, it's great. Sometimes it takes years, sometimes I tried, I wore so many perfumes, you have no idea. But it's normal, you don't wear the same perfume when you're 18 and your 30s and 40s, etc. Totally normal. For the little uh, tip, if you don't know yet, you can put a little bit of Vaseline, not too much, don't grease your hair because it's fragrance free and you can perfume it and then your perfume will stay much longer even if it's just a haute parfum or haute toilette it will stay longer I know, I'm all about perfume, I can smell my right now, love it mm, I'm swimming in Chanel right now, swimming! <laughs> All right, number five is all about the skin as well. It's try to get your face as uniform as possible in terms of color. How do you find the right foundation? I still haven't found the right foundation because I did a full color section in my styling course. I learned so much even about myself. You need to start to try a foundation. If you need to buy a new one, go to the shop, try on your skin. Go to the shop with bare skin. And then when you try, go to the natural light and see if, if, if because we don't have the same color here and here under your chin and on the neck. Try to be as uniform as possible. If you're not into foundation, use a nice BB cream or even if you do like me sometimes, I mix a little bit of foundation with my moisturizer. So I create my own BB cream. If you're not into foundation, and you still want to have something on your skin, then you can go for a bronzer or maybe any type of powder, but I will go for the bronzer to get a bit of the colors on your face. Number six, mm, I can tell a lot of people will not agree with me. Be easy on the eyeshadow, and especially when we are aging with grace, I'm sure you notice our eyelids are not super smooth and wrinkles free, okay? And I don't like it. But when you have a bit of a creases, if you wear some eyeshadows with any type of glitters and metallic, they're gonna go inside of the crease and it's gonna look terrible. I would prefer to go with a matte makeup. Even when I was young, um, I don't think I put glitters outside when I was going out and party all night. So um, I would maybe recommend to use like a crayon on your eyelids and then you can smudge it and have a bit of a smoke effect. The simple is always the best solution. I do believe some heavy eyeshadow put your eyelids very heavy and it's just it just do not look good and and neat number seven try to find your signature makeup so for example you may be like me i love mascara if i have to wear only one type of makeup it will be mascara and bronzer but mascara i absolutely I wear it every day but mascara to me open my eyes, doesn't make me look so tired and it just gives me a bit of a pick me up effect, okay? Maybe it's not mascara for you, maybe you're crazy about eyeliner, a bronzer or a blush or maybe you're into lips, maybe you like to be makeup free and have beautiful lips. Don't forget, there's always a rule as well, if you put heavy makeup on your eyes, try to keep the rest of your face a bit nude and vice versa, don't go too much. Be simple, minimalist, clean and easy. The blush. The 80s is finished. Okay. Like in the 80s, you know when we have the red marks? <laughs> I mean, we. I was a baby at the time, no. <laughs> so easy on a, on a blush, if you're not sure, do like this. Have a new natural um, cheekbones, you know. If you're into blush, some women do look really good with a bit of a rosy and peachy. Again, that's all about you undertone. To me, it doesn't look good. So then please apply that in natural light and don't go straight away with the brush. You know, I don't know any women do that. If you put too much bronzer or blush, you can try to blend with a bit of a translucent uh, powder, but it's a mess and your skin is too dry. So I'm not crazy about blush, but please ladies, if you love applying blush, be easy on it, okay? Number nine, eyebrows. I always say eyebrows at the frame of your face. 
and sometimes when you have a good eyebrow structure you don't need too much makeup okay so eyebrows my recommendation if you never done that in your life please go to see a professional when it's done professionally and everything is balanced and you're happy not only with the color the thickness the style the shape etc then after it's all about you maintaining now you can have crayons and fill up the gaps and be just very natural again um, I've done plenty of videos about it you know but and if you really really don't have hair anymore because you pluck your eyebrows too many times or it do not grow for any reason or maybe you were sick that's okay again go to see a professional get them draw and maybe think about the option to get them macrobating or tattoo but it has to be super well done because it's nothing worse to see a beautiful woman <laughs> I'm smiling <laughs> To see a beautiful woman thinking about someone, obviously. Gorgeous. And the eyebrows looks like two black sticky tape. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Oh, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> All right. I need to go to number 10 to, cl to close this video. All right. Number 10 is the wrong hair color that can betray you. What happened with wiser ladies? Please explain to me because I don't understand. You have your gray hair, you rock your gray hair, fabulous. What is about those wiser, very wise lady who have purple and blue hair? I don't understand, maybe it was fashionable in the 40s or 50s and you think it's still cool, but every time I see it happens again last week, I saw a woman, so gorgeous, wise old lady, and she had blue hair. And I was so close to approach her, so close to say, do you realize your hair is blue in natural light? But again, I know, I know, I'm very cheeky today. It's like when you see someone <laughs> with a camel toe, I know you don't say it, but would you say to a woman a hair color is totally wrong? Anyway, at the end of the day, this is a dream of every woman to find the perfect hairdresser. You know, the one who doesn't overcharge you, doesn't think you're an idiot. <laughs> Understand the texture of the hair, respect your hair. If you can use some organic tint or dye, I don't know you say, or highlights, better, less damages. If you can have a maintenance, maintain your hair regularly without costing you too much. Your hair, it's so important because at the end of the day, all the things that have been covering, <laughs> I'm back on the eyebrow. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I have to stop the video because I'm not, <laughs> I want to laugh, this is bad. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Subscribe, click, click, click. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>